Big news coming to Easter Road tonight, and that is that Ryan Porteous will be leaving Hibs. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. Some big news in the world of Scottish football today. All the talk has been on Rangers and their new manager, Celtic and their new signings. Well, now it looks like Hibs might need to buy a new centre-back, because their current centre-back, their best centre-back, one of the top prospects in their club. I say prospect, that might be wrong considering he is in his early 20s now but one of their best players undoubtedly Ryan Portis has came out and he has confirmed and Hibs have confirmed it he will not be staying with the club he will not be signing a new deal there'll be no new contract for Ryan Portis and his contract runs out in the summer of 2023 so what that means for Hibs is we've got one or two possibilities here either they can hold on to him, they can keep him for the rest of the season, and they can let him go on a free in, uh, in the summer, or they can sell him in January, but of course, with less than six months remaining, most teams aren't going to put in that good an offer, and it'll be nowhere near what they could have got if he had, say, let's say, two years, three years left on his remaining deal. So before I talk any more about this, I just want to, and this is not a rant on Hibs, even though I'm a Hearts fan, I'm not ranting on Hibs or picking on Hibs here. In fact, it's more about Scottish football in general. Now, I will give the old firm the benefit of the doubt. They don't really do this, although this year Rangers are in a really bad position. A lot of key players are leaving or set to leave. Their contract's running out. In the summer, Ryan Kent, Morelos, players that were valued at a lot of money, uh, no less than fucking a year ago, 18 months ago. So, yeah. Normally Rangers are good at this. This year they're having a shocker. But Rangers and Celtic normally do not do this. But the rest of the league, there's no money in Scottish football. We know how tight these Scottish clubs have it. And that they can't afford to spend lots of money. And that they're basically in survival mode. And that they can't compete financially. Blah, 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 blah. Well, they don't fucking help themselves, do they, when it comes to letting their big players run down contracts. Time and time again, these clubs do this. And they let their key players, the players that they could get the most amount of money for, leave on a free. Now, in recent years, last couple of years, there's been some decent business. Aberdeen got money for Calvin Ramsey. They got money for Lewis Ferguson. Uh, Hibs got money for Josh Dodge. But how many times have we seen key players run down their contracts at these smaller clubs, at the clubs that are struggling supposedly for money and they leave on a free you know it's fucking ridiculous and it looks like this could be the case again here with ryan porteous it just happened with john Souter and hearts um last year and i don't like it man i think it's like at the same one part of me doesn't blame porteous for wanting to leave because hibs are a fucking mess and you know the guy probably wants to win things and realistically what chance have they got to do that at hibs no chance but at the same time like there's not a lot of loyalty there that he is prepared to walk out at the end of the season on a free and Hibs get nothing. For me, surely these clubs and players can meet in a middle ground. Like, can't the club sit down and say to the guy, maybe with 18 months left on his deal, and say, and just be fucking honest. Why can't they sit down and say, look, unless you want to be with the club long term, then we're going to have to sell you in the next transfer window because after that you'll have less than a year on your deal and, you know, the amount of your value will go down. Something like that. Why, why can't they just be man about it? Or, like, for example, why couldn't Porte say, look, I don't want to be here, but I'm a Hibs fan. I've enjoyed my four years at the club. I'll sign a new contract, but I want you to accept, you know, the first reasonable offer that comes in for me. Why can't they do that? I do think it's shit the players just to run down a contract and leave the club for free. Especially when I think John Souter had multiple bad injuries at Hearts. Hearts stuck by him. Hearts paid his wages. Because he was with Hearts, he got a breakthrough into the Scotland national team. The national side scored a goal. Now he's like a permanent, you know, player in the Scotland squad. And, and what loyalty did he show? He showed none. He left on a free to go and join Rangers. Now, I do think it's shit in the play. I also think it is a bit of bad management for the clubs, as I spoke about at the start of this video. But surely there could be an agreement where the, the meet in between. I, I don't think that's unrealistic that 
Like, these players could say, look, I think I can do better than this club. I think my future's away from this club. But I'll sign a new deal because it's, I like the club you guys have supported me. You've been loyal to me. And I'll sign a new deal to help you get a better transfer. I mean, am I, am I fucking delusional for thinking that? Am I wrong for thinking that? That's what I think. So if I'm wrong, if I'm delusional, then so be it. But I think the best way... To prevent things like this is just for the clubs not to allow it to happen. You know, if you've got any doubt, if you've got a good player who you think you can get a decent amount of money for and you have doubts that they want to be there, then you cannot allow their current deal to, to run down. As soon as it gets close to like a year, you have to be like, right, you're gone. Either you sign a new three-year deal or we're going to have to sell you on because this club needs to capitalise on the amount of money that we believe you're worth. That's what I think. As for Ryan Porteous, where's he going to go? Could he stay in the Scottish Premiership? Maybe. I actually think the guy's good enough for the old firm sides. Now, I can't imagine he'd go to the Rangers. I know he's not a Rangers fan. But maybe he could be at Celtic. And people are going to say, ah, he's not good enough to be at Celtic. Look, the guy, he has a bit hit and miss, right? I'm not going to deny it. He's had a lot of bad games. Uh, sometimes he can be a bit of a bomb scale. He's got multiple red cards. He's good at getting himself sent off. I get that. But he's also had a lot of good games. And if you look at it overall, I, I think there's more good than bad with Porteous. He might be a bit of a prick off the field, but when it comes to on the field, I do think there's more good elements to his game than bad elements to his game. And if I compare him with someone else at Celtic, who's, like, who's around like a similar age, let's compare him to Stephen Welsh. I mean, who would you rather have? For me, it's an easy one. I would take Porteous every single day of the week before Stephen Welsh. And even if you look at Rangers, I mean... I'm trying to think of the closest player comparison. Let's say Lee and King, for example. Maybe a bit harsh on King because he's a few years younger. But for me, I would take Porteous over King every day of the week. So I, I do. I'm not saying he, he walks into the Rangers or Celtic starting eleven, but I do think he'd be an improvement for both of their squads. Now, whether or not they want to touch him, that really does depend. But I think Ryan Porteous will go on to have a solid career. I think if he was tied down to a decent deal, you could be looking at at least a few million for the guy. But considering he's going to have what by the time January comes along, he's going to have less than six months on his contract, I think Hibs will be lucky to get, I don't even think well, 500k, I mean what did Rangers paid what, 400 for, no they didn't even pay 400 for Sewer fuck, Hearts wanted for 500, Rangers offered 4 and then they didn't even get him, so I mean if, and I think Sewer is a better player than Portis so I'd say, yeah I mean I think they'll struggle maybe to get 300 400 grand for Portis but on the flip side I mean it's better than nothing Hibs aren't exactly doing great so this season's pretty much gone maybe they should just sell him or you can use devil's advocate that, that they, they are in trouble therefore they should try and keep him so he can help them to the end of the season i mean it all depends it all depends guys but let me know what you think about ryan Portes. do you think he what kind of level do you think he's at do you think he can go on and you know improve himself do you think he can go to a much better club than hibs do you think he could get into the old firm teams do you think his level is like I don't know, Championship, League One, or do you think maybe he could be above that? Do you think maybe in a few years' time he could be a Premiership player? I mean, it, it could happen. We have seen Scott McKenna, for example, got promoted to Nottingham Forest. Is Portes as good as Scott McKenna? For me, I don't know, it's close. I think Scott McKenna maybe marginally ahead when he left Aberdeen, but we'll see. I definitely think Portes is a good player. And it's a, it's a massive blow for Hibs. And, you know, it's just they've Hibs it up again. They're fucking Hibs this right up. You know, Ryan Portis should have been getting good money for him. And now they'll get peanuts. And, yeah, it's, I guess it's the Hibs way. But they're having a shamble season, shambolic season, man. They're not doing well. Lee Johnson, I don't know how he's still on a job. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if Lee Johnson's gone before Ryan Portis, to be honest. Because uh, I just don't see Lee Johnson having success at Hibs and I, I think they'd bite the bullet when I, I think the Lee Johnson situation is kind of similar to Gio I'm not saying in terms of results or, or performances I just mean the actual objectives of the club Rangers objective is to be better than Celtic is to win the league is to be the best team in Glasgow is to be number one in Scotland Hibs is objective is to be the third best team, to be the best team in Edinburgh, to be the team that is, you know, right behind the old firm. I didn't see Gio accomplishing what Rangers wanted, and I just don't see Lee Johnson accomplishing and having the success that Hibs want to have. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see him gone, but yeah, we can confirm that Ryan Porteous will be gone. Where will he end up though? Let me know down in the comments. Where do you think he'll go? What kind of level do you think he's at? And do you think Hibs have well and truly Hibs this one up, guys? We'll catch you in the next one. Till then though, Peace.